This is not another video that chronicles the rise and fall of PTL's Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. Instead, this video will chronicle the time that Jim and Tammy Faye Baker bought a house and lived in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I have no idea what they're holding in this photo, but it vaguely resembles a cat. Jim and Tammy Faye bought a house in Gatlinburg on August 16, 1986. It was in the Greystone Heights neighborhood on top of Crockett Mountain, right beside the sky lift. They had a house in California, but decided it was too far away from their headquarters in South Carolina. Right after they purchased the house, improvements began. And unfortunately, they spent twice as much on the improvements as they spent on purchasing the house. The house cost $148,000, but they were approaching close to $300,000 in additional renovations. These included $35,000 for the stone wall line driveway and a 50 foot by 10 foot lap swimming pool. The house was originally built in the mid to late 1970s. Not sure when Jim and Tammy Faye first saw Gatlinburg, but when they did, they were impressed and that's why they wanted to move here with their two children. Many people think their house was one of the big mansions that you could see from downtown Gatlinburg, but it wasn't. You could probably only see the top of the roof, if anything at all. Their house, or Mountain Chalet, was around 2,500 square feet, and it really wasn't tall enough to see very much of it from the city. Their property was on two acres, but most of that was useless sloped mountain land. There was barely enough room to even build a house. After a busy Christmas season in December 1986, Jim and Tammy Faye were ready for a vacation and went to the Gatlinburg house right after New Year's in January of 87. They were only able to spend about a week there when Tammy Faye was having some serious health issues and had to be admitted to a California hospital. They remained in California for a few months when in March, things really began to fall apart when the scandal made headlines. On May the 20th, PTL sent a moving truck to the Gatlinburg house to bring back anything that belonged to the ministry, but they were stopped by local police and not allowed to remove any items from the house. While still living in California, on May the 27th, the couple was interviewed live on national television to talk about things that were going on with the ministry. This was with Ted Koppel on ABC News Nightline. Due to unsurmountable debt owed on the renovations of the house, they had to give the house to Roe Messner, and the title was transferred into his name on June the 5th, 1987. He was the one who was in charge of making the renovations on the house, but he would allow them to live in the house when they were evicted from their parsonage in South Carolina. So when they left California, they went back to South Carolina on June the 23rd. They took a couple of days to say their goodbyes and then they left for Gatlinburg. When they arrived in Gatlinburg on June the 25th, there was a media frenzy at the house on Campbell Lead Road. Reporters were gathered outside the house waiting for a glimpse of the couple. Helicopters were circling above and their propellers were scattered items across the driveway. They remained in seclusion in the house until June the 30th, and that's when they decided to appear publicly for the first time at the Gatlinburg Chamber of Commerce. They went there to sign a replica of the United States Constitution for the bicentennial of the Constitution. If you do a Google search for Jim and Tammy Faye Baker Gatlinburg Constitution, you will get the following results and see this photo of Jim wearing this shirt, which is from Ober Gatlinburg. On July the 2nd, they videotaped an interview with ABC's Charlie Gibson for Good Morning America. This was inside the Gatlinburg house, and it gave viewers a rare glimpse of the inside of the house. At some point, they drove back to California to sell the house they had there. They spent about three days driving back to Gatlinburg and arrived on August the 1st. It was on August 3rd, 4th, and 5th. I was a teenager, and I spent those days in Gatlinburg with my grandparents, but we were unaware of the Bakers being there at the same time as us, and we did not see them, although it was common to see them out in the town shopping from time to time. The Bakers held a press conference with the media and would speak to their supporters outside of the Gatlinburg house. 
On August 29th, they met with supporters to discuss their situation. They eventually left Gatlinburg later in the month of October of 87 and did not return until June the 1st of 1988. They had hopes of buying the house back, but it never happened. And in June of 1989, Roe Messner sold the Gatlinburg house. In the year 2016, I finally decided to locate the house and I made these pictures from the driveway. I could not get a good view of the house from the road. It was too secluded by trees and the curvature of the driveway. Two days after this photo was made, a devastating fire swept through the Smoky Mountains and this house was totally destroyed as a result of the massive fire on November 28, 2016. I don't think anyone was living in the house at the time of the fire. When we returned in March of 2017, this is what we saw. The lighted globes that lined the driveway were melted. Looking through the trees, you can see the remains of the metal roof laying in a pile of rubble. You can also see the slope of the terrain of the land I talked about, which would made it difficult to build here. To this day, the property remains vacant. In this 2022 photo from the sky lift at the top of the mountain, you can see the concrete walls of the swimming pool and some of the concrete that was constructed around the house in 1986. This is how the property currently appears on Google Earth 3D. You can see the driveway, the rectangular outline of the pool, and how close their house was to the sky lift site at the top of the mountain. I hope you found this informative and thanks for watching. If you're wondering if I have seen the movie Eyes of Tammy Faye on HBO Max, yes I have and that's the reason I wanted to make this video. I thought Jessica Chastain and Andrew Garfield did an amazing job of portraying Tammy Faye and Jim and I highly recommend this movie. God loves you. He really, really he does. does.